Hey guys, Mary and the Barbarian here. We got a fun shave today. I'm a little scared of the shave because I haven't used an item here in a while. And last time I did, cut myself up. So we're gonna see how it goes. So let's start. I got this in a uh, lot purchase from someone. I can't remember who it was, but it was one of the BSTs. And this is Sebum Latte. I don't know how old this is, but it's not a big bottle like or big jar, shall I say. Let's take a look at it, you know. I guess it's supposed to smell like latte. I, I guess. It smells more almondy, kind of nutty to me, but that's okay. I'm gonna finish it up today. Old Sport. I like it, Tonka Forward scent. Yeah, it's really nice. That is nice, I really like it. I don't know if it's gonna compliment, well, I don't know. Seems like a go latte and all that. Seems good. So, I'll show you what we're using. Y'all see from the thumbnail, let me wet the face. Sorry guys, a little distracted. Too much masculinity going on right before I got on here, you know. CDB was in a, was in a chat group with us. So, you know, that toxic masculinity. And then Ken got there and brought it a little back, a little bit back down to earth. So, anyways guys. I'm using my Kent Designs, you can pick up at Moon Soaps. I will link it all below. And, uh, open up this lather. Yeah, it just smells nutty to me. Just a little nutty. Hmm. Does feel nice though. I like the sebum on the face. That doesn't mean come and moon me. I don't know who said that, but you know. Maybe laugh at the time. I do have it quite a bit runny. I overloaded it and then just kind of drowned it, but it does still feel good. It's falling off the brush, getting on my Bare Naked Ladies t-shirt, B&L. Big fan, guys. Eh, kind of not listening to them right now, but I do enjoy B&L. Bare Naked Ladies. Chicken of China, the Chinese chicken. Wet hair shaper, persona blade, first use. Let's see how it goes. Being a little quiet, kind of holding my breath. The goal is to get through unscathed. So, I saw DK got the cat of nine tails in. So I decided to tag him. And blew his entire point. All right, my bad, dude. All right, other hand. Oh. 
Sweet. First pass looking good. Plenty of lay feel. Still got this uh, ingrown that I think I got out, but it's going to take a while to heal up. Hmm. There we go. Pretty good. A lot of hair in the sink right there in that plot. You know, we're dealing with probably 28 hours worth of growth. Maybe a little bit more. Beat it up a little bit. Thicken it. Yeah, just a nutty smell. Just a nutty. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it could be this stuff's a little old. I don't know how old it was. But, if they still carry it, I will uh, link it all. Mm. Ken's right. That's got a nice face feel. Look at that. It's just dripping. So wet. Need only a little. I just want to keep doing it because it feels good, guys. That's what she said. Anyways, so. All right. There we go. This side. Got some weepers. Know what I just did. It's always right there too. Yep. That just pisses me off. Freaking hell, man. Like, I'm okay with the weepers and shit. Normally, not my thing. But fuck, man. Coming in too hot on my damn lip. 
It's like, it's not even, it's the damn lip. Sorry. It's the lip, guys. It's not even. Frickin' A, man. Frickin' A. Get some intra shade nourishment. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go. Hands are slick. Total quiet this time, sorry guys. But I'll give you an album show. These aren't nicks, these are just weepers. There we go. Doesn't that look beautiful, guys? All right. Just so you know, post every shave I record. Yep, I did get it there. It looks like. So, you get to see the F-ups and everything. There will be blood. Yeah, I think we're good. Sorry I left it running so long, guys. Don't want to get blood on the Lancaster. Peasant, Bed Bath & Beyond tell it is. Okay, I feel good. Wet it again. Wet the aloe block. I just wanted all the soap off. That's where the toe hit. That's a neck. All this? Weepers, probably from too much pressure. It's not that bad though. Could be worse. Like the sting's not even bad except for where the cuts are. Some aloe in the mouth. It's not cool, Jewel. Can't remember if this is mentholated. Murphy and McNeil. Just in case. On the ear. There we go. I know CDB. Why did I just bat my face? Let that goodness soak in. I know. I know. Old sport. Well, I might go get a stip tick. We'll see. Come on, guys. Just give me some more of that goodness. There we go. This does smell wonderful. Oh. 
Dice bird. Self-inflicted burn. But feeling good. Feeling good. Give it a little bit of rinse so we can show off the butamous brush of this. Kent Designs. He really does make some beautiful stuff, just so you guys know, in my opinion. I got a brush I haven't introduced yet. Kind of waiting, but it's kind of hard to wait. But anyways. Isn't that pretty? It's nice. It fits good in the hand. Like, sweet, it's not flat on the bottom, won't suction to the counter. Good stuff to know. So guys, yeah. until next time, next shave, less blood. So you guys have a good one, talk to you later.